Oh, welcome back to the life of Dave. Uh, it's another day down the boat. Sorry, Dave, a couple of hours. Uh, I had some things to do this morning, so not got a lot of time. So, plan is, last week, we got all this sanded down, ground down, loads of dust, and then I reapplied some bonding paste. So that's sealed up all the holes and pits and everything else. So what we've got to do now is we've got to sand this down before I can do anything else to it, because this is cured. I can't just glass over it. Uh, there'll be little peaks and stippy bits. So that's all got to be sanded down. Again, more sanding before we can glass it. And I'll need to check it. Make sure I've got all the holes, the voids that were there. Bit there looks like it could do with a bit in. So we need to sand all this down and then check it over. Um, and then what I'll probably do is apply a very thin coat, um, just filling any last little bits that need doing before we stick some glass on there. So hopefully the plan today is get it all sanded. If I've got time, glass it. I doubt I'm going to get time to stick the locker in again. <laughs> but that will be coming soon. I've got to get this done first. So, right, for now, enough waffle. I've got lots to do. We've got some sanding to get along with. So, let's crack on with that. <laughs> edge here and this edge here I'm trying to transition the two together so just losing any edges feathering this out and then feathering that out that way so that there's no sharp jaggedy rough edges so everything is smooth so when I glass over it I'm not trapping air bubbles in there that's the plan this is ripply as you like this rough finish on here anyway as anyone that owns a Shetland will know you know it's not smooth and flat I'd really like it smooth and flat. I don't think I'm going to get it smooth and flat. I'm going to get it as smooth and flat as I can. I could get it smooth and flat and looking beautiful, but I'm going to have to put so much filler and stuff on it, the extra weight on the boat. You know, every every time I put something on, that's extra weight. So I'm quite aware. I don't want to add too much more weight to the boat. So hence, I mean, this is all quite thin. I've just put the smallest amount in next to these to fill the holes and voids. I've not built any of that up in this area here um, other than to transition that into there and then sand that back so that's really thin just so it gives a nice finish, a nice edge to it. But yeah, no, we need it out. So that's that area, pretty much sandy down. I need a little bit more there, a little bit up here, and there's a little bit up here. Like I say. We'll go over that and I'll check it and I'll mark all the areas that I think want doing. Uh, and we'll put a little bit on there, let it set up for 10 minutes or so and then uh, carry on with glassing if I've got time. 
That's the plan anyway. Right, let's move on to the top bit and then work my way back down. I think is where I'll glass up to. Actually avoid it's just a, a depression. I'll glass this end up to there. I think that's the edge of the glass where I'll ground it. That's not bad. <laughs> Over the edges, into the corners, and that by hand as well. Right, so I've
try and get all the dust out of the little gaps and cracks, any little pinholes that are in it. There's a couple of little pinholes there. Now we're going to have to turn it up in a second, get rid of as much of the dust and muck as we can. That's our two tonne of dust as ballast in the bottom of this thing by now. There's a lot of dust down there. Something else I want to do, I want to seal up this section to the seating as well so that I don't get the muck transferring from one to the other in the, under my cooker and stuff. At the moment the dust is all going into there. I was going to seal the cupboard up but it's just pointless, I've got to block that off first. That's something else I need to do is block all the cupboards off to their, their own separate units. Yeah, that's another job for another day. Right, flying, that's half hour of sanding already. <laughs> so we'll be uh, doing some editing later, that's for sure. We'll get that down. couple of bits where I was speaking, just to inform you what I'm up to, but the rest of it will just be fast forward sanding, because uh, yeah, there's not much point of watching real time me sanding that, that lot down. Oh, funny old weather today, we've had sunshine and stormy rain quite heavy that rain, it was light showers and then it belted down, absolutely belted down it did. <laughs> so I had some things to do this morning so I couldn't get down here early, uh, probably going to be the same next week as well, so I'll get done what I can today. I will need to get this all uh, in glass at least if I can. Right, we'll see. Time's ticking by. I don't want to rush it and mess it up though. So. I've only got to bring the glass down here somewhere. Uh, I'll stop it short. I've still got to stay in this bottom section, so then I'll overlap it and glass into the bottom once that's done. Uh, it doesn't really need glassing, but I just want to glass in over these little ribs that they've been put in where it's all hollow next to them. Uh, that'll make me feel better knowing that there's not big voids that are cracking and opening up and you know, put a bit of strength into it. I want to be able to paint it or gel coat it and you know in the future if I need to sand it down and repaint I don't want to sand it down and rub straight through a blooming bit of glass and put a hole in it I want to know that I can rub it down and then repaint it you know I don't want to then have to start doing repairs to the fiberglass and strip half the boat out so I don't mess it up with dust so I'd rather just do it all now. It takes a lot longer, but it's uh, it's well worth it. Well worth it. Right. I'm gonna stop that there. I'm gonna come back. Uh, whew. Whew, dusty. Yeah. Well, I think we'll stop that there. That's enough from one video to edit. Otherwise, it gets too long, too hard. Um, oh dear. Yes, yeah, so we'll get this one done and I'll come back and do another one. I'm just going to mark up any holes that I can find so I can see them. I'll show you how I do that. Um, and then we can get some pudding in there and start working out how to cut me, what size I want my glass and all the rest of it. Get that ready to lay up. So, right, catch you soon.